I've moved to Roanoke in uh, 1991, so I guess I've been in practice 24 years now. I've spent my entire cardiothoracic surgical career in Roanoke, Virginia here at Carilion Clinic. I've done well over 5,000 heart operations to this point in my career. I grew up in a medical household, so I was always interested in medicine. And uh, when I eventually got to the point that I was involved in patient care, surgery, and particularly heart surgery, just interested me the most. Heart surgery is neat because patients can come in with uh, a lot of symptoms and problems related to whatever their heart disease is. And then uh, once we correct that, we can really uh, see dramatic improvements in what patients can do afterwards. My current practice is, is mostly heart valve surgery. Uh, we do the whole gamut of adult cardiac surgery, but uh, I do at least uh, half to two thirds of my practice is uh, the spectrum of heart valve surgery. Well, heart surgery is a big deal and no one takes it lightly. I mean, typically patients, when they hear they have heart disease, it's a scary thing. So our job is to help them to understand what they have, what their options are, what the procedure itself entails, and uh, um, make sure that they're as best informed as they possibly can be going into it. I spend a lot of time talking to patients first and try to get a feel of what type of symptoms that they're having. Um, then I go over all of their diagnostic studies so they have an understanding of what the actual disease process is. And then I spend a lot of time explaining what our recommendations are, alternatives, and if it's a uh, surgical recommendation, I explain in detail. I see my patients and spend time with them every day, um, encourage them to get moving to help through the recovery process. And uh, um, really our philosophy here is that our patients are our patients. We don't rely on other physicians to take care of them for us. Um, we feel that we're not just technical surgeons, we're physicians that help patients through the recovery process no matter how sick they are. We really have a team approach here and we really try to keep the families involved heavily with our patients because they're really critical in the recovery process. Um, they have to help out uh, the first period of time after surgery when the patients have the most disability right after surgery and the more they understand about it and the more supportive they are I think that's positive for for the patients and we participate in all the national uh, quality databases through the Society of Thoracic Surgeons and uh, we have a large volume practice that encompasses uh, all of adult cardiac surgery and we monitor our quality outcomes very closely and our volumes and quality numbers really are as good or better than uh, any comparable programs in the area.